application migration to Amazon Web Services. We have here the architecture diagram of a multi-tiered application deployed on AWS. It has a three-tiered approach. The internet facing component is the load balancer. The core business logic resides in the middle tier. And finally, we have a DB running in the backend. The AWS components that have been utilized are EC2, S3, CloudWatch, SNS, ELB, VPC, Internet Gateway, and auto scaling. The application has been architected to incorporate cloud features like fault tolerance and auto failover. It also has high availability and auto scaling. These cloud features are achieved through continuous monitoring and routine snapshotting. We have utilized a rip and replace strategy here to ensure cloud features. Amazon CloudWatch continuously monitors the application components for health parameters. Any component that is deemed unhealthy is ripped and replaced by a fresh instance deployed through S3 snapshots. Web traffic to the application is routed via the load balancer. Admin access is achieved through the use of a jump box. So all RDP or secure shell access happens via the jump server. This makes the load balancer and the jump server the only two internet facing components of this application. The DB server and the app servers are in private subnets and thus not accessible from the internet. So the core business tier is always secure and cannot get compromised. Now let's have a look at the components from the AWS management console. As you can see, there are four EC2 instances on which the application is deployed. Two app server instances are running in parallel and one DB server in the backend. There's also a jump server to perform admin activities. Network configuration of this application is done at the VPC layer. So we have a VPC configured for this application. This VPC consists of three subnetworks, two of which are private and one is internet facing. The private subnets are deployed on two separate AZs in the US West 2 region. One is on 2B and the other is on 2A. This ensures high availability as the app server instances are deployed in private subnets on two separate AZs. This system has been architected to be intrinsically self-healing. Thus, if one entire AZ were to go down, the system is architected to scale and launch a fresh app server instance in another AZ which is still available. Even if the entire region were to go down, we have a DR setup in the North Virginia region using pilot lamp approach. All this happens seamlessly and transparently, ensuring continuity of business. Let us have a look at the application frontend to get a feel of the user experience. This is the login portal. Once we log in, we are redirected to the dashboard. This application is an insurance domain BI tool, and thus the dashboard consists of the various LOBs for the insurance vertical. The root context of this application has been configured to show the DNS name of the EC2 instance to which the user request is being forwarded. As you can see, the DNS name for this EC2 instance is IP 172.0343 US West 2 Compute Internal. From the management console, we see that this DNS name is associated with this particular app server instance. This instance does not have a public DNS because it is part of a private subnetwork. Now let us go back to the application view and simulate a failover scenario.
from the management console we intentionally bring down this EC2 instance and now let us see how the auto failover scenario is executed now the application front end continues to work as earlier and the failover scenario is completely abstracted from the end user only from the AWS management console can we make out that the earlier app server instance which we had stopped has been automatically terminated and a fresh EC2 instance has been launched to replace it we can validate to which EC2 instance the user requests are being forwarded by going back to the root context of the application and finding that the DNS name now is 1720329 US West 2 Compute Internal which is this particular EC2 instance this instance was spawned just a few minutes back to replace the instance that we had stopped to simulate a failover scenario. The other app server instance that was running in parallel to this instance earlier is still operating and serving user requests. Finally, let's simulate a multi-AV failover scenario and bring down both the EC2 instances that were serving user requests. The Perform INS application currently has zero app server instances to service user requests. Now let us check if the application is still performing as earlier. Surprise of surprises, it still is. So the system has scaled and implemented auto failover and self healing seamlessly and reliably. Thank you for your time.